Back with another one. Oh, yeah, put that shit down. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what time it is. OG, OG Percy. OG Percy. You feel me? Blicky Big Homie. Yeah, that my nigga. Holla at me, OG Percy. You know. It's Sig Hobie. Oh, gee, Percy, Sean, Percy. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. He look like, yeah, yo, boy. Nah, that face he just put on. Oh, oh, no. You don't want to see that face in your pussy. It's on the late night. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Real, man. Cutthroat today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> OG, man, what's, what's new in the life, bro? What's new? <coughs> you know what? I He just sniffed some shit a minute ago. You can't tell. See, you know, when you change to him, you find out when life nigga uh, been like that. <laughs> You just gotta change, you. Yeah. Man, they ain't what to change, nigga. Nothing, ain't nothing change. Just you. You can change. That's been happening. That's been going on. Shit like that, huh? That's that, that been my experience this week, man. Uh. Like, they come home, they need to realize the same thing, too. And then the world changed with you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's real talk. You think I'm bullshit. You go to that corner and ask that same what was he saying last week. He gonna be telling you the same story he told you before you went to prison. Still the same. Talk to me, too. No, for sure, man. Well, I'm not sure if you've seen, but there's been a YSL Rico case going on okay. for the last year, which was basically some of the biggest news in hip-hop since Takeoff's death. Okay. Well, Gunna probably oh, just pled guilty. Come on, Joe, man. I mean, he was just locked up when they got locked up. How can you get locked up? You were locked up when they got locked up. Right. Well, he pled guilty. And he received five years, one year time served for the year he already spun behind bars. So he's about to have to do it. Wait, wait, hold on, time, 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 time. Yeah, that math just crazy anyway, though. Like, niggas is doing what? Yeah, that 30% eight eight months time? is a year, right, in the fatty? No, right? bro, but eight, it gotta be. how the fuck is you do eight months and that equals to and five year. years? <clears throat> no, they only gave, he only had to do a year out of the five. That's why. Yeah, but that. how? I don't know. How does that bad bad don't even I make don't sense? Know. How That's you do one year out of five? I never heard of that. Like, I don't know. I mean, what niggas doing? Twenty percent of their time? I know my nigga G Dub from the way I grew up with in Yonkers. He got caught in the sweep, and they he had no charges ever in his life, and he had to do five years, the whole five. Lizzy too. Lizzy never been to jail. Yeah. GMF Rico he Diamond. He did six. Five. Wow. He did six years. Mm. The whole. Five. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, five. yeah, like Weezy got caught with a blick up here. He had to do the whole year. The <laughs> the whole I don't year. know, right? 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 Am I lying? What? He, he did the whole right. 12? She did it. About eight, probably. Okay. No, yeah, he, he did a county months. year. He, he did, did. Yeah, did. did. it. Facts. You said. That's what they was giving uh, him. <laughs> he got a, a year of credit already? <laughs> yeah. On, 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 time seven on case he just pleaded guilty to? Right. So he already knew he was under that indictment. Right. Yeah, he already knew he was under that indictment then. But, um... <coughs> okay, okay. Keep talking. Well, <laughs> Keep it, it's talking. my understanding Gunna and several others also pleaded guilty. Young Thug hasn't <laughs> yeah, been sentenced yet, yeah, but as you know, they're trying to make him the kingpin of the Rico case. The <coughs> What you say, nigga, when they call your name, you, you better, you better plead insane. <laughs> <laughs> if you a real nigga, nigga, you know better. You are the mother. If you paying attention, you better not be laughing. But if you laughing, you know, we know why we laughing. You know why. You feel me? <clears throat> they call your name, you better plead insane. Oh, oh, that's, damn, man. So ain't that, <laughs> man, for Gunner, he came out here and took him a little vacation. I guess you go back home. <coughs> a, a lot of people are wondering, is that considered snitching? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do a little more homework. Let me, let me do some homework. Plus two. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> what people are saying is that he didn't testify on Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? He didn't actually testify. He just mm -hmm. admitted right. that he was in the car with Young Thug 
drugs were found, weapons were found, mm -hmm. and they were not his. He didn't say whose they were. Well, I, 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 I take back my statement. No, it's not. No, that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, and the sad thing, you're going to get some time anyway. That's not snitching. Okay? Uh, snitching is when you... <laughs> do what I said. When you get caught, nobody say nothing. We both going to jail, bro. It's over with. They gonna have to figure it out who gun it is. It's over with. We both going to jail. It's a wrap. Cause I'm not saying it's mine. You feel me? Unless it's one of some on a stand up situation, like you don't want your man in jail or whatever the case may be or whatever. But nigga, I'm not saying nothing. You better not say nothing. We don't even know English. I don't know who shit it is, bro. And eventually, both of y'all could beat the case. Man, yeah, it's y'all shit. Y'all put this there. That's my yeah, life. like, that's shit. serious. I don't know, like, y'all just come on. home. That's all I'm telling you, bro. As, on some street shit. You get caught, nobody speak. I don't care if it's 30 blowers in the whip, nigga. Y'all put it. I don't know or nothing about nothing, bro. They might not find no prints on these shits that come to us or nothing. So who's to say that they, these are ours? I don't know what the fuck you talking about, sir. What it up? I'm telling you. Hey. <laughs> When you got to go up there and get on that court stand and say, hey, do you know um, Real Tune? It, the guy you just said that was in the car with the drugs, is he in the courtroom today? Yes, he, yes, he is. Um, can you point him out for him? They have to do that in every court. Yeah. They have to yeah, do that in every court. They have to let the jury know that he has identified who he's talking about. You know how many times that thing been pointed at me? I've been doing this thing. In the paperwork, it stated that he had to come to court and testify if called upon. <coughs> uh, it also oh. says that he has the right to plead the fifth in court when called upon. Um, <coughs> uh, well, tell us real quick. Uh, right on the tune. Y'all tune in right quick. Yeah. It's not a tell, it's just an uh, opinion. <laughs> um, my son, my son was excused of snitching. They accused my son Percy Jr. of being a snitch in the street. And he went to prison. One day, had a uh, L on his back, you know what I'm saying? Me, a light sitting hanging, but uh, he wanted my 16 year old son to take his charge. But told my 16 year old son, man, hey man, we're gonna take care of you while you're there. We're gonna look out for you, man. And my son was sitting, man, you got me up. <laughs> um, they still having to catch my son with the gun that my partner told me to get rid of. And he's supposed to get rid of it. Um, when the laws came to get them, they jumped on a big old balcony and hit the back and they were trying to get away, but they didn't know before they even jumped that thing. That place had already been surrounded for an hour before they even knocked on the door. You remember? Mm -hmm. They already had every every base covered. <laughs> if, if you could go this way or if you could go that way, you wasn't going to have nowhere to go. Yeah. And, um, so they ended up getting locked up, man. And, uh, they took they took my son and that dude in the car and said, man, just take the case. Just take the case. You a juvie now. You finna go to juvie, nigga. Go to juvie now. You ain't be that alone, man. You know, it's like trying to you know, persuade a kid to take a charge. You know, grown man, I won't just take this, man. I got you when you get back. Nah, that mean back in the days, they used to do that. Back in the days, when you came home, niggas would give you some money and you yeah, had to have some too. to you. Put you back on your feet. For real. Tell you, too proud for you to be home. For real, for real. You come home now, nigga, you just on your own. Two. Uh, two. Hey, <laughs> if you a real nigga, nigga, you know better. If you heard him, you already know what time it is. If you got people going through that, meaning in the system, or you just come on from the penal system, you already know. Times change, man. The game change. The game stay the same. The players change. I went in there and he talked to me. He talked to you know, the people. Ran something down, you know, he didn't say this, he didn't say that because, you know, and the dude ended up getting 35 years in prison. Mm. Uh, well, my son didn't know as a kid, you understand me, when he went in, when you was talking to the people, you know, said, man, now I didn't do it, he didn't say that they did it. 
But he said he didn't do it, but he got caught with the gun. You know, the word on the street, and then, you know, then killed the nigga, and told my son to take the gun, they was going both on the scene, doing mm -hmm. my son, you know, they, they square business like that, uh, free my son, Percy Jr., uh, 84 in the feds, and, uh, 18 in the state, you know what I'm saying, me, yeah, Percy Jr., my baby, you understand me, the first Jr., no, you understand me, uh, but anyway, uh, you win as a young, young, you understand me, uh, they don't understand, you know, you already yeah. been, you, you don't understand when they walking, because they so young. That is crazy, bro. I'm sorry, y'all, because I did the button. That shit just fucked my whole head up. Like, I don't know. He said, Junior. I'm a junior. And I have a baby boy in high school. So that's why that shit kind of, like, froze me just now when he said that. He got 84 in the feds and 18 in the state. It's over. They put his lights yeah, out, y'all. That's damn, not even like, God damn, why you giving a nigga? Why you even like, come <laughs> on, come <laughs> on, judges. If the judges watch this shit, fuck like, you, man. Real, bro. Fuck you, judge. Bro. Like, listen, bro. 84, bro. <laughs> like, yo. Nigga already 16. <laughs> 17, he said. Yo. What the fuck? <laughs> the shit that y'all be giving, <laughs> it don't make no sense, man. Y'all giving a nigga enough time where he could die, come back, and still got to go to jail. That's messed up, bro. Hey, come on, Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> T-H-U-D-D-Y. Diddy. Diddy. fuck is going on? They don't know what's going on. They juvie. They, you know, they just pacing. They in trouble. They want. They ain't figuring out. They just asking these questions. Uh, I can expect, you know, you know, the judge to come in and say, no, take the chore, man. Go, man. I wonder, is that considered snitching? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, keeping it real to take the charge. Uh, let me tell y'all something, man. Uh, I seen a situation that I paid very, very close attention to when Trader Truth got pulled over in a situation with him and the dude back in the, you know, a couple months ago. That was having J Ton. Uh, and J Ton say, you know, the goddamn me, you know, woo woo woo. You understand me? But uh. And they ended up going down during this time, you know. Let me tell y'all something about homeboys, y'all. What's a real homeboy when you get... What happened? The dude went to... He went... He held it down for Trey? I don't know. Hold on. What happened, guys? What happened, y'all? What the fuck just happened? He ain't say what happened, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, keeping it real to take the charge. Uh. Let me tell y'all something, man. Uh, I seen a situation that I paid very, very close attention to when Trader Truth got pulled over in a situation with him and the dude back in the, you know, a couple months ago. That was J Tun. Uh, and J Tun say, you know, the goddamn me, you know, woo woo woo. You understand me? But uh, okay. And they ended up going down during this time, you know. Let me tell y'all <laughs> something about homeboys, y'all. Yeah. What's a real homeboy when you get pulled over? Tell them what's a real homie. Get, what's the proper procedure when you got a gun in your face? Man, you gonna you gotta take your case. Set it off. Set it up. Take your case. They come in there pulling us over to them. God damn it. Uh, let me get, let me show y'all the definitions of a real gun. Can I please? Um uh, me and two are riding one day. We rolling goddamn woo woo. Goddamn two. Mm. Oh, we, hit the man, put that up, man. Throw the no, woo woo woo. Don't sleep, goddamn it, goddamn it. off me, goddamn. Oh, God, was ready to space, please. Oh, yeah, so you go off. Damn. Hey, he went in the motherfucker thing, man. Matter of fact, you know, man, they come in and they step out the car. Good, get up, what's wrong, nigga? Oh, we pulled up. Oh, shit. By the time you get ready to move or take tuck something, hey, step out the car, please. No time to find a stash spot or nothing. You get out and the law will find what we got. I'm looking at two of them, oh, damn, go they stay putting shit on top of the trunk, on top of the roof of the car. We got this, here, put this in there too, Jim. They over there zip locking shit in little bags up, god damn. They even took the duties out there and it's trading them. They gonna hit you for the paraphernalia. Everything, yeah. everything, they, oh, they gonna hit you damn. for the blunt paper that didn't have a cigar still in it. <laughs> what was it in the inside of it? They now, how you about it? Cause once you, once you, yeah, you have just manufactured a drug. <laughs> Hello! Oh, no. Ask me what happened when you cook crack. Turn soft to hard. 
Uh, you better, you, you better uh, leave it soft. Matter of fact, you better leave it soft. Uh, a lot of people don't know and understand that yeah, when you make go. edibles, yeah, that's go. also oh. manufactured. Why? Well, uh, yeah, when you when you have THC butter, and it's free game right now. If anybody please give it to them. Scared me. When you have THC butter and you use that to bake you some cookies. That's manufacture of a drug because you changed the original. Oh, don't to him too. What do you know about changing them? You know what I'm saying? I didn't turn snow into, no, no hard. You know what I'm saying? We didn't turn south into, you know, and that, let me tell y'all something. You better leave it like it is. I, I got a good man. I don't want to kill you. Okay, I got a good old man when, when we were in college together. Talk to me. And he took a, a vacation while in college mm -hmm. with uh, his people. Right, right. Now, while we was with his people, or while he was with his people, yeah, you know, he was with one of them who just need to smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? He <coughs> out, you know, but and he need to smoke weed. Now they're going through these small towns. They get pulled over. They just leave leave Colorado, however it is, and um, everybody gets pulled out the car. Okay. Now my partner, I believe. He had got, you know, the little cartridge or whatever. You know, okay, so, no, it was okay. edible. It was edible. He had an edible on him. Okay. And he ends up going down oh for God. possession of a controlled substance. Hmm. Now, he thought it was just an edible. You know, he's going to jail. He's catching the, the weed charge or whatever huh. it is because it was swerving. But, in turn, but it turned out to be a felony. You know what I'm saying? It's the same felony that motherfuckers who got cracked. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying yeah. possession of controlled substance. Well, no I got that, you know man. Yeah, because the the the, the, um, the paragraph for the charge don't change because of what the drug is. Why not? No. Did that make sense? Right. <laughs> the paragraph for the charge don't change because that's just that, that, that's just what the charge is. That's that's what we get him with? Possession of control. That ain't nothing but the animal, man. No time out. I did. Hey, it's because you turned it into something. Else. I didn't know weed could be a controlled substance. You heard the cuz because you transformed it into something, a food, and made it with the the TAC butter. Y'all better be paying attention because we trying to get y'all game. Shit, they gave us game. Come on. Damn. I can't go to jail. Well, you're on your way. You're on your way. Nigga, face is dead. What's wrong with this nigga? The, 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 the new players on the field, um, possession of control substance is a uh, class B misdemeanor now. Back in the day, it was a felony. You would go to prison. Ask me how I know, too. No, you know. I went three times. Oh, hey. <laughs> on a drug charge. I got three state jail charges on possession. Until they hit me with their possession of attempt to deliver a manufactured drug. Ooh, God, okay, okay, what, okay, what's that mean? Yeah, like, come on. Niggas is, hey, bro, niggas is from the trenches, bro. Stop talking to us like that. I dressed it with just that, that, and that, woo woo bro. We don't know nothing about you. Know what I'm, okay, what that mean? Motherfuckers don't even be knowing what they in jail for half the time. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, bro, so now nah, you can read your whole paragraph. <laughs> That's all I need to know. The possession, possession, possession. It don't matter what goddamn it. Listen, no, my brother. <laughs> you got a possession of a controlled substance with the intent to deliver a manufactured drug. <laughs> Just told me that, dummy. I'm not going to take it. If that ain't us, bro, if that ain't me. Bro, I just fucking told you this, bro. I know. I got a possessive, bitch. I had one before. It's the same shit. And then a nigga break that shit down to you like, no, nigga. This is a county court, what are you going up, up? You gonna be like, nah, what the fuck happened? This is bud, like. I went to prison for control yeah, substance. Well, right? talk. Oh, I, I, and I still got the paragraph. I still got my paper. I, I, I pulled it out the short to tune. Yes, uh, my drug <coughs> My possession of a controlled substance is a class B misdemeanor. You already got the possession. Okay, now yeah, make it make sense. Read your paragraph. What do it say, person? It said possession of a controlled substance of a manufacturer with the attempt to deliver a manufactured drug. Okay, nigga, I got a possession. Old school. He said, down, down, damn new school. Oh. <laughs> new school. You got a possession on the top. On top of a <laughs> attempt to deliver. 
<laughs> so you have a delivery charge right here too. See that right there? With attempted no possession. But then how they gonna hit a nigga with an attempt to deliver though? What I attempted to deliver this shit? What do you mean? Like they caught me in the middle of delivering it? Like what the fuck? Caught you in the middle of chopping it. With the attempt to deliver, then you got a delivery attempt charge. To sell, I guess. Slash uh, a manufactured drug. Yeah, because if you get caught with your drugs loose, is you using. And and if you do get caught, you using anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no Gilly. When you change this into that, you fucked it off. And you fucked up. That's so what you said. Now, 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 now you look calm, ain't your person. You say, uh, hold on, let me see what we got here. Stop this, stop this, uh. Say, uh. Uh, I'm at work right now. I'm going to hit you later. All right. That's New York calling in. Shout out to people in New York, the Bronx, New York, man. Shout out to Leezy, man. That's the end of that. Um, but anyway, um, that manufacturer, he said, that's the most scariest part of your paragraph. <laughs> what that mean, nigga? <laughs> because you manufactured something, that means you took something and you turned it from what it was into what it is. <laughs> but how did I... What, what, what you mean, me though? What if what if I got it like that? <laughs> you heard cause like what you like? I'm confused now, cause like what you the possessed f- it still, so you was but I didn't turn this into that though, bitch. I already got that from this. Yeah, but it's turned already, so somebody got to get. You just got caught with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But what it was to what it is now, bars. Uh. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga was fucking dummy, bro. We don't know that. You got caught with that. Somebody did it. Well, do you know who did it? Oh, Maybe my God. Maybe you ever No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I just, I got it. <laughs> did you see it? <laughs> I can't tell. No, I can't. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, niggas, hold on. You like to tell us, niggas, hold on. Hold on, go see with this one. Do you know who turned it into that? No, I can't. No, I know. <laughs> no, niggas, the fuck you doing? You need to know what you get next time. Oh, Matter of fact, you need to know what you're getting yourself into next time. You that's decide that's you want bullshit. no hustle, nigga. It's a lot come with that. Yeah, you nigga, that's after it's a lot come with. I ain't never, you know. Manufactured. I, I I was a chemist back in my day. They used to call me Chef Pearl D. Yeah, I, I um, you know, I used to make toys. You understand me? You know, for family. You understand me? Oh. And when I say toys, you know, I learned the whip game. You know. Yo, I love this nigga, bro. I swear to God, this nigga is an old school gangster for real. He too funny, bro. If anybody know Percy from out there, bro, in the comments, bro, let me know, because I know y'all got some stories. I used to call me Betty Crocker. Understand me? I, I was in the hood that when all the dope niggas couldn't cook, they cooked the cooks. Man, go fire. I was standing in line, had to sit on couches with they powder waiting for me. Next! Next! It's like a barber shop. My soul's getting high. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's probably what turned him out. Because you know you got to test this shit, cuz. Don't care. Oh, I was the cook. Why Percy always got spaghetti dinner? Why Percy always got spaghetti dinner? We ain't never got no money. Yeah. <laughs> Percy always got spaghetti dinner. Why Percy always got spaghetti dinner? We ain't never got no money. I knew how to cook the O's. <laughs> and keep the O's. I knew how to leave the bottom in the pot and come back and get it later and bring that back. Yeah. 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 That, that was, you know, it's a lot going on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i Free basin. Because they didn't know how to cook this shit. Yeah. Blow up in their face, nigga. Good. The worst thing I ever did was, was shake my tube one time and hit the faucet. And it the whole thing right break. Up. Yeah, because you can't put it in cold water. Man, I know, I just didn't do that. Man. Let me show you. So, you know, back in the day, you didn't know what you were doing. You had to stand over the, the faucet and cool it out in order to bring, you know. You know, all you need to know is dripping and dropping in there and get it back, you know, and put that wrist. You always had to have a wrist game. That's why I say I'm not now. Tupac. Hold on okay. now. But back in the day, you need to catch me in the kitchen, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Whipping out of Tupac's. Yeah, nigga. Boys. Tell me what Boys. I ain't Tupac, but back in the day, you can catch me in the kitchen whipping out of Tupac. For real. 
get that man. Give me talking that talk, man. Yeah, don't get that. Hey, that's what I was talking, talking about, about bro. Hard. Say I was working hard. <laughs> the last case I caught, I was working hard. You hear? Yeah, so working hard. Ball. Swear to God. Ball. But anyway, when you do shit like that, you catch charges like that, you out of there. You gotta know the game, son. Y'all just can't keep running here playing basketball and fouling all the goddamn time. <laughs> they always fouling. And this is looking more fast than anything right now today on the question that Tune just asked me. Because the question is this, y'all. What's keeping it real? Me and Tune get pulled over. Here we is, handcuffed. No, they putting us in the car. I don't know what Tune going to see. He didn't say nothing at the trunk. He didn't say nothing. We were on the hood hand. And we just shaking our head at each other like, God, they got us. Man. Right. Hey. They all keep up with this. They got us, Tune. I'm looking at Tune. Like, I ain't got to. We ain't got to tell. They partners don't say nothing. Facts. What I just told you two minutes ago. Well, let me Nobody tell you what's saying that, this, bro. That's we it. They ain't got to worry about their partners not saying nothing because they probably going to say something anyway. If it's dead. That's what a real partner is. Gangsta. That's mine. Gangsta. You see your partner get put in that car, guy, and we go to jail, and he said, I got you. Yeah. That's not a real. Word. Yeah, I know it. And then y'all praise him and say, man, he kept it real. Now he a motherfucking fool. Because keeping it real is not letting your homeboy go down there. Partner. Keeping it real is better. That's what's supposed to count 1,000. You see, he finna go. Man, no, I can't let my nigga go out like that, man. That's a real nigga. Oh, man, I got you, nigga. Money on your books, everything, nigga, man. What I said, if we get booked, nobody says this unless you know... Your man got a family, he got all this shit going on, and woo 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 you feel me? Nonetheless, it's your gun. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Nonetheless, you got pool, bitch, it is your pistol now. But, nigga, Nina, one of us ain't got no kids, we ain't paying no bills, nigga, we just out here wildin'. We gonna go sit down for a minute, we gonna be out in a minute, but if you got, like, a family and all that shit going on... And it's bro, not yours, and it's mine. Yeah, like, bro... I'm going to say it's my gun, bro. I'm definitely going to go to jail. Yeah, I'm going to go to jail. And that's for any real nigga. If it's your pistol, why the fuck let other niggas suffer if it's your gun? Just take the gun. Niggas could take care of you if you just do it like that. If not, you going to have everybody in there. Everybody going to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The world don't stop when one person get booked, bro. That shit just life keep going, you know. I get 4,000. <coughs> you ain't. You just tell me to go down there and you didn't even tell me that, you know, weird. I ain't gonna let my partner go for something that's mine. And call myself a real nigga mm -hmm. after that. That's not a real nigga. You a real you would let your partner go down there. Real. You hear me? Ain't too many of them like this lot of locked up for their home. I got a son doing 15 years now on Ferguson Unit for some fucking niggas. And now all this is in the feds. See, they weren't gonna stop thanking my son for getting that little old 15. You know, he, he's grown a little bit, man. He, and I got told him he ain't got to go. He said, well, Dad, I got caught with it, so I'm going to go. I got caught, so I'm going to do my time. Son, you didn't get caught. Them told it on you. Because they know you the young nigga. <coughs> they told it on you. How the fuck you think they got out? And I didn't want to hurt my son's feelings about telling him some real shit. Them niggas got out because they said they, they, they blamed it on you. Guess, guess why they blamed it on you? You didn't know. You was young and you thought being around a nigga like your daddy could teach you nigga daddy and the daddy wouldn't do no shit. I, 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 he said some shit. The daddy would say, I got caught with him. I'm gone, dude. You can get caught with the niggas told it on you. Uh, that's why they out and you not. That's why they come up provisioning you like they got damn each other. So you make sure that you don't say nothing different. Yeah, that's why you can go to commissary, your books fat and everything, and you young niggas getting that thing in commissary is every motherfucking thing. Uh, your motherfucking freedom is every motherfucking thing. You wasting motherfucking time on the clock. But anyway, my son in that motherfucking penitentiary now doing time, he'll be home another couple of years. Uh, and I can actually say that was a good kid, a smart kid, mm -hmm. a get money kid. Uh, he rapping. Mind you, this is another one. You gotta try to catch up with him. You feel that would me? Be yo, bro, yo. Bunch of little niggas in jail. Mind you, bro, this is another one of his babies. He just told y'all about Percy Jr. This is the period. No man, move. Get out the way. You talking about Nanizzle? Nanizzle. Let's go. What you know about Nanizzle? What? That's a nigga. Nah, I'm a real. Don't be safe. Uh, and shout out to little Ronnie. Little Ronnie. Nanizzle trying to get with you as soon as he get home. 
He said, each time I run off on you, as soon as he get home, daddy, I don't, he said, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Shout out to Little Ronnie. Ronnie Little Ronnie is probably the best gambler in Texas. Yeah, Y'all, Little Ronnie, the, the best. Boss, you know about Little Ronnie? Understand me? <clears throat> but some... Little Ronnie, biggest gambler in Texas, like street nigga. That nigga be gambling big bands. I ain't going front. That's uh, go, go yeah, yo, man. Free go yeah, yo. That man right there has a, a, a chokehold on my son when it comes down to rappers and inspiration and, and role models. Why he ain't did a song since, uh, the last time I heard of him? Yeah, probably yesterday. That nigga keep in the studio. You know, that nigga keep some shit going in that mic. If he ain't doing nothing else, I can tell you what he doing. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, uh, shout out to little, I don't know why I did that, man. You threw me out to him. He rung up a real nigga now. Shout out to the best gambling in Texas, little Ronnie, man. Fort Worth, Texas. No, Understand me? Now, you talking about, uh, I do with the kid. We are tough. We do have conversation. When we talk, it's always love and it's always <coughs> love. I got pictures of me and little Ronnie and, uh, one of the best rappers in Fort Worth that's been overlooking. Ain't nobody seen that, said nothing to him. It ain't nobody in the room went up to him, boy, but he's the best thing ever going in forward. Salute to the homie Woody, man. <laughs> Salute to the homie Woody, man, man. You the best thing ever going for. Everybody knows you're just an overlooked artist and, and, and been working harder than anybody. Uh, Woody, man, has always been on a different trench, you understand me, different lead from everybody else in Fort Worth. You know, a bad rapper, and I ain't gonna never leave you out, Woody, man. Y'all gonna... Y'all go check out Woody. I mean, like, comment, subscribe, man. We ain't about to yeah, right. do that. We ain't nothing about no but Woody. Nigga, Woody, 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 nigga, Woody, 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 Toy Story. <laughs> we out of here, though. We off this Percy, man. Percy, real nigga. Sweet.